What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got another video for you guys today. This one, HBO, not Aaron Vladimir Klitschko once again. Um, as we all know, Vladimir Klitschko is fighting Alexander Povetkin on, I believe, September the 11th in Frankfurt, Germany. And you know, we all know Vladimir Klitschko is the heavyweight champion of the world, and and um, at one time HBO was was airing every one of his fights that that he was that he was in. HBO had a streak of just airing Vladimir Klitschko fights back to back after I believe Ray Austin. No, no, not excuse me, not Ray Austin, but um after um Daryl um Williamson or something like that, Devero Williamson. But they had a long streak of just airing Vladimir Klitschko fights. And just all of a sudden, like, after the David Hay versus Vladimir Klitschko fight was canceled for June 20th and he fought Ruzan Shigaev, um, HBO didn't want to air that fight. Now take this into consideration, and this is quite the contradiction. On December, I believe December the 5th, 2008, HBO had a, had a um, year-end card that, that aired on the network. And the fight was supposed to be Vladimir Klitschko versus Alexander Povetkin. Alexander Povetkin was on HBO like I believe February, either February first or January twenty fifth of two thousand eight, and kind of this four man tournament with like Eddie Chambers when he I believe he beat somebody. I think he beat um Larry Donald. If I'm not mistaken, he beat somebody. It was kind of a four-man tournament. He beat Larry Donald, Povetkin can beat Chris Bird, and and then um, after that, you know, they fought each other. Povetkin defeated Chambers, and you know, Povetkin um kind of waited that whole year to fight for a championship. But what happened was Povetkin got hurt, and the fight didn't happen. It he got hurt like in training camp. I believe it was a foot injury. He needed to have surgery on. It. And Vladimir Klitschko, he fought, he fought Sultan Bragamov, and it wasn't the most exciting fight, but it was a unification bout, and it was the first unification bout for the heavyweight division since like 1999. At the time, Vander Holyfield versus Lennox Lewis, it was the first unification bout since then, and so, and it was also in Madison Square Garden, so it was kind of a thing where it had to be aired. So HBO aired that fight. HBO aired, goes on, they air um, Vladimir Klitschko versus Tony Thompson, July of 2008. They aired that fight. And, and take this into consideration that some of the people that they're fighting were people who were not showcased in the United States too often. So they air Thompson, they air um, Bragamov. So then Vladimir Klitschko is about to fight Povetkin. But Povetkin's hurt, so they needed a replacement. All the heavyweights were, were primarily booked at that time. James Tony had to fight Fred Zakindo that night. He wasn't going to fight his brother. Sam Peter was still kind of recovering from the loss. Um, Eddie Chambers wasn't necessarily a mandatory. Um, David Hay wasn't even a was was a heavyweight. Excuse me. Let me think. No, David Hay was a heavyweight, but he had fought a month previous against Monty Barrett. So now Vladimir has to fight somebody for that um, to make up for that card. So he fights um, Haseem Rahman. Haseem Rahman is a fighter who's been featured on HBO numerous times. So he fights he fights um, Rahman, knocks him out, and then the world's pretty much waiting for Klitschko Hay, and HBO is going to air that fight. HBO's gonna air Klitschko vs. Hay. And what's interesting is the year previous Show Showtime was actually showing David Hay fights. They didn't show Barrett vs. Hay, they did show um Macronelli vs. Hay and they were hyping it up real big February of two thousand eight. I don't know um whoever who was um whoever was watching boxing at that time, but Showtime was definitely hyping that match up. The um, Undisputed Cruiserweight Championship. Um, HBO at that time had never aired the David Hay fight. 
and to this day has never aired the David Hay fight. And you know, but they've been airing Vladimir Klitschko for a while. You know, since I can't remember when, but they've but since you know around the time I started watching HBO boxing, they've been airing Klitschko fights. But when I first started watching, they were airing them on and off. Like I mentioned one of the first ones I one of the first HBO telecasts, you know, that I seen was as a was as a teenager, it was Roy Jones Jr. versus John Ruiz. That was pretty much one of the first cards I've watched. And um, first HBO cards I've watched. I've seen fights before that. But I didn't necessarily watch a card until the Jones Ruiz fight in two thousand three. So I did watch that one, but after that fight there was a Klitschko Corey Sanders fight. Because they showed the pay-per-view and then they had the and they went and they showed the fight, which is how HBO has always done it. So they, so it's time to show the fight. I remember, I remember um somebody somebody was telling me Klitschko white kid I knew was telling me, you know man Klitschko man Klitschko's the truth Klitschko's a beast Klitschko's gonna do this Klitschko's gonna do that, and he went in and he lost to Corey Sanders. So after he lost to Corey Sanders, we didn't I didn't see him myself I didn't see him on HBO for a while. Um, and then it wasn't until maybe 2004-2005 until I saw Vladimir back on HBO and having a very good reign as a heavyweight champion face some quality opponents and HBO I think has done the Klitschko or at least Vladimir wrong because this man is going in and he's beating everybody that's being put in front of him he's you know he's beating you know he's beating guys you know, he went in and he actually avenged one of his losses to um, Layman Brewster. Avenged one of those, one of his losses. I would have, I would have loved to see him avenge the loss against at least um, Corey Sanders, maybe. I would have loved to see, but his brother kind of avenged it for him. But overall, you know, I think Vladimir Klitschko was a great champion. I think he's a very, I think he's a great champion. He's fighting, or for. You know the standards of the heavyweight division now. I think he's a great champion. He's gonna, and I think he's gonna beat whoever he's, he's gonna continue beating whoever they put in front of him. And what's sad is HBO is not showcasing that. I think that American fans, you know, whether a fighter be European, Australian, um, or Asian, no matter what creed the heavyweight champion or heritage champion is, I think that HBO should at least try to showcase it. And let the people see because the heavyweight championship is a championship that's had so much prestige over the last 100 years. The heavyweight championship is something that a lot of boxing fans, or not even people who aren't even boxing fans, people know what pretty much know what the heavyweight championship is, or have coined the term at least once in their lifetime. HBO not airing Klitschko fights is not good for the sport of boxing. Because what's happening is now businessmen are having say of of who should be aired and who should not be aired. Klitschko has every right to continue to be aired on HBO. I'm like, you guys aired, and take this into consideration. You guys have been airing Areola fights. Areola, you know, just has lost two two of his last three. And some of these fighters that he's been facing are practically nobodies. Jamil McCline, who lost to Klitschko, Travis Walker, um, and I don't remember who he fought before that to be or um, Chaz Witherspoon, another fighter. Chaz Witherspoon. These guys haven't really done anything. You know, they've they fought quite a bit, but it's like who have they beaten really? And they're kind of putting a lot of stock in the Adamek now, though they're not airing his next fight. But I think Vladimir Klitschko deserves to be aired on HBO. Klitschko vs. Pavekin deserves to be on HBO. Due to the fact that you guys wanted to air this fight two years ago on your network. So what's the difference between now and 2008? Klitschko was still the champion, Pavekin's still the challenger, Pavekin's older, Klitschko's older. Is practically the same fight as it was two years ago, other than Teddy Atlas being in the corner of Pavekin. But anyway, guys, I'm running out of time. That was a distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.